So today I'm gonna show you the ultimate way to use your VR like this to play with your phone and it I as far as I know this is the only video that can get high quality for completely free without spending any subscription or something something like that. And it works pretty great. You can also connect the tracking controllers if you have them. I'm just gonna show you how to use the normal phone and place it into a VR headset like this one. I got this for like six bucks. So honestly, this video took me like a month to make because last time the, that I did the VR video, it did pretty bad because it was so bad. The quality on that was so bad. This you can get the highest quality that your phone can handle, but you of course need a pretty good Wi-Fi connection. So there are basically two things that you need application for your PC, application for your phone, and we're just gonna start the tutorial with an application piece uh, on your PC. And then I'm gonna show you some insane settings that have helped me out if you have a pretty bad internet. Even if you had a pretty good internet, it makes the game smoother. And then I'm gonna show you how to find your games, how to find the games that work on your setup. So let's just get into the video. So here we are on my PC and now let's just start installing. First of all, you're gonna need to go into my Discord to get the link to this website. Then you should find in the assets folder, you should find a Alvear launcher window zip. So you click this. install this go to where you install the alvr launcher just extract it in the same file and now here if you go to alvr launch now here if you go to alvr launcher we should see an alvr launcher application we're gonna do that and this is the latest version so Add this version. I use this preset. Wait for it to install. Now we should have this click launch option. And here we are now in we're in the setup guide or setup. We click next. Click um, reset settings. It's I would prefer you to reset your settings, but I already have my settings in here, so next. Your, your hardware requirements. Here we can add a firmware rule. It just takes one click. Next, next, and click here, finish. Now we go to installation. And now we just click here register alvr driver this means that the alvr should work properly with steam vr that only takes one click so here we are on my phone and we're just gonna click here the this link is also in my discord server so just click here phone vr click download and just wait for it to install and they'll do just the normal installation for Android apps. It should be pretty simple. Click install and open. Here you can um, remember choice and click Alvear because that's what we're using and this one works usually the best So here we are you're just gonna have to copy this that's on the screen that you get on the screen Mine of course is gonna be blurred so yeah, just copy the IP address and host name and Then you should be pretty much ready now. I'm gonna show you how to connect your phone So basically you need your host name which should be displayed on your phone and then you need your IP address 
This, of course, I'm not gonna show mine, but it should pop up when you turn on the phone VR or LVR application on your phone. So just paste your IP address and your host name. I think there's not a dot at the end. Then click save and then you're pretty much ready. I just have some of settings that I personally use so I use a very low settings because normal phones will usually don't even use the very low settings then I use 60 FPS I use here I use this one then I disable the headset speaker so basically that means that your phone is using the phone speaker or the phone audio whatever and for the head tracking I usually use steam and here I disable head tracking because phones usually don't have that and for the bitrate I use adaptive so it basically if you don't have that good internet which my phone unfortunately doesn't have so I use the adaptive so it changes the bitrate so it's the smoothest and that's pretty much it there's a lot of more settings that can you you can tweak but that is for if you want to really really get some really great fps or something like that so here i'm now get just going to show you how to get the games that work with this setup so basically just click here enter and then click here to free or if you want to pay anything you can also do that then go here make sure that you are on full controller support if you're using a controller which i highly recommend and here just click vr supported and these are basically all of the games that you should probably be able to play not all of them work but Yo, make sure to check out this video, don't forget to subscribe, this was probably the hardest video that I've made.